Feet Yoga Minis. It is another Monday, so it is Movie Monday. And today, since last week was Earth Day, we were doing a lot of classes with the Lorax, right? That's one of our favorite books from Dr. Seuss and one of our favorite movies. And we even brought our little Lorax friend here today so that he could do yoga with us. So a couple things you'll want to have before you start your class is a block or something you can balance on. So I know a lot of you are at home and you might not have like a yoga block. So a thick book or a sturdy box would be great. So it's something you're gonna wanna balance on. And you might want a thick pillow or something that's kind of like a bolster um, for one of our poses. So if you wanna push pause, you can do that really quick. Good, and then let's get going, okay? So we're gonna do be the Lorax. And one thing that they talk a lot about in the Lorax is taking care of our earth, right? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna start out with our plug into the earth mudra. So you're gonna make two peace signs. Good, and then plug them into the earth. Imagine that you're outside and you're digging your fingers into the grass and sit up really tall. And I want you to imagine that you are a plant growing down into the ground. So your fingers are like the roots and you can feel the energy of the earth going through your fingertips to the top of your head, all the way down to your toes. And you can be any plant growing outside. So take two breaths and picture that plant. Good. All right. Unplug your fingers. Very good. What were you, Nora? I was a water lily. A water lily. Today, because I was just talking about the Lorax, I was imagining a truffle tree. <laughs> So I saw a puffy truffle tree. That's not a real plant, but they're really fun, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. All right, so one thing we want to do is be very grateful for our trees. Did you know that those are what give us oxygen? Yeah, they make it so that we can breathe nice, clean air. Because in the movie, they actually have to buy air. That would yeah. not be cool. No. No. So it's a good thing to take care of our earth so we have clean air and make sure we have trees. So let's take a nice, deep breath of some clean air, okay? So have your arms out. You're going to bring them in, okay? So you're going to breathe in. And out. Good. One more nice big breath. Breathe in. And out. Very good. All right. Now, we are going to be all of the fun little Dr. Seuss plants, but we, are, we want to first of all get onto our motorcycle because Ted in the movie has to get on his motorcycle to go out into the real world and see what has happened, right? Figure out what's gone on. So get into your motorcycle. This is boat pose, right? We've done this before. Get your handbars and go. Good, and then land. Very good. All right, and the first thing he learns about from the one slur are the truffle trees. So you need to be a little seed and bury yourself in the dirt. Good, and I'll sing my rain song, ready? Raindrops, raindrops falling all around. Raindrops, raindrops, listen to the sound. And put your roots down. Now we're gonna grow into a different kind of tree than we usually grow into. This is a truffle tree, so it has those puffs on the top. So grow up into a tree. And you can't see my so I'm gonna come down a little bit. You wanna make a big puff ball up above your head. Good. And see if you can blow in the wind. And it flows in the wind. Good. Let's try the other side. Can you just plant your other foot? Bring your foot up. And make the truffle a tree. <laughs> nice job. Now, if you have a few of you there, truffle trees like to grow together too, right? I'm gonna back up so I you can see. Good. You can help each other. You can stand up really tall and you can have your, your flowy truffle up there. Very good. All right. And under the truffle trees are the brown barbelites. And they look a lot like teddy bears to me, yeah? yeah? And so we're gonna do our bear pose. You make your legs wide and have one hand down and one hand up. I don't think they really roar like bears. No. No. But let's try the other side. But they like to hop around a lot too, right? So see if you can kind of move around like that. Can you move? Going, yep, changing your hands. <laughs> they're bouncy and they're fun. And in the book, they eat these purple berries, but in the movie, they, they eat, eat Yes, they eat marshmallows. And it makes their faces all big and fat, right? So can you make your face big and fat? Good, nice. <laughs> with all stuffed with marshmallows. All right, and there are also the swami swans. And the swami swans, we're gonna do our bird pose. You're gonna have one foot down, one foot back. They fly. Oh, very good. Nice, beautiful swami swans flying in the clean air. Very good. And then there are also humming. 
you fish. All right, so we're going to do our fish pose. I'm going to show you two ways to do a fish pose. You can, I'm going to lay sideways, another little lay back. You're going to lay back on your elbows mm -hmm. and bring your head up and over. So if you're looking at Nella, it looks like she's upside down, right? And they hum. Okay, you can hum your own favorite little song. But another way to do it, if you don't like this way, because it feels kind of hard, you can put a pillow behind you or a bolster if you have one and lay back on the bolster and that opens up your chest and you can do fish pose like that too. Now let's hum a little song. What do you want us to hum? Now on twinkle, twinkle. Okay. That's good. Very good. <laughs> so a humming fish. Now all of these beautiful Dr. Seuss creatures were living once until the onceler came along, right? And his carriage. And he took down all the truffle trees because he wanted to make needs. needs. Yeah, so let's go ahead and chop down the trees. Make your legs wide and chop, 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 chop. Very good, it's very sad, right? But he thought it was very important to make his need. So let's make up a need pose. The need has all kinds of different things in it, right? It's the only thing you'll ever need. Yeah, it's the only thing you'll ever need, right? So you can balance on one foot and your need pose just makes it so you have to balance but you can have your hands and your feet wherever you want. Very good. All right, so he makes all these needs. And while this is going on, the Lorax comes along because he needs to speak for the trees, right? So our Lorax pose is what you're going to need your block or your book or your box so you can balance. Because he stands on one of the tree stumps, right? He comes out of a tree stump. So get on your tree stump and come on down. This is a balance pose, okay? So if you need to, you can have your feet flat, but if you can, I want to see if you can be on the balls of your feet, which is the front part of your feet. Yeah, and balance. Have one hand on your hip and one hand on your heart because he's speaking from his heart, right? He is there to protect the trees. Very good. Can you do it with your other hand? Very good. Then your hand's not really on your heart, but just on your chest. So you can be like that, or you can be like this because you're scolding them too, right? Mm -hmm. So the Lorax is there to try to defend the trees. Mm -hmm. Yep. And Ted learns all about this, and the one slur even gives him the very last truffle of seed. And that's kind of like us, right? We have been trusted to take care of the earth. So what are some ways, now that we can take care of the earth? Um, don't litter. Yeah, don't litter. Recycle and reuse things, right? Yeah, don't just throw away everything. Don't think that you need new things all the time. Yeah. Yeah, don't, yeah, don't make any sense for anyone. Yeah, grow trees and plants. Mm -hmm. Flowers that the bees can use. Yeah. Yeah, so those are all great things that we can do to try to help take care of the earth, yeah. right? Yeah, and it's a great way to learn about it in the Lorax and a lot of other fun books. But thank you for doing the Lorax with us. If you have other poses that you'd like for us to do from the Lorax, just put a little post down below. And let's all do one more mudra to end this, okay? So we did the plug into the earth at the beginning. Now I want to do the earth mudra because that is what we're taking care of. So you're gonna put all of your fingers together and bring it down here and sit up really tall. I want you to imagine the earth in your hands, clean and peaceful and beautiful. Good, and then send it back up and put your hands together. All right, let's say peace three times, ready? Say peace, 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 namaste. Thank you for doing yoga with us today.